Good evening. So, today was pretty good. And look at me. There's another YouTube video and it's only been one day. What's happening? Um, so, today I went to uh, a speak out training at my school. Um, so, I guess that needs backstory. Um, so, at the university that I attend, I am um, pretty heavily involved in uh, activism and outreach for anyone in the gender and sexual minority bubble, um, because I think that that's really important. Um, so, one of the things that we do is, uh, for certain classes, um, well, not just classes, anyone who wants it, we'll have a panel of, you know, lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, identified people, and anything else, queer, you know, there's a bunch of different identities in there. Um, we'll have a panel of, like, three or four of them sit in front of a classroom and basically tell their story. A lot of them are coming out stories. Um, but a lot of them are. It's just stories about our lives, and the point is to get people to relate to us who maybe don't identify the way that we do, maybe straight people, cis people, or people that just haven't quite come into the community yet, you know, to let them know that we're there, that there's support for them, that they're not alone, and, you know, anything else. It's just, it, it's not so much direct, like, education and like here's what you know queer theory queer politics not so heavy on that and more just human to human heart to heart you know we're people and so it's a great initiative and so I went to a training for uh, that specifically today and it went really well um, I found out that uh, <laughs> well of course I knew like this 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 YouTube is attached to my Tumblr, and I my Tumblr, you know, people that I know in real life follow it. So, but it's just kind of like weird. Like people are like, oh, I saw your video yesterday, and um, I'm like, oh, like I don't know. It's cool. Like it's cool. Like I, I like to share, but you know, I get on here and it's really easy to like just talk about things because it's a video camera and it's strangers, it's like, oh, like, people I know see this, um, <laughs> but, you know, whatever, I, I like to share, it's just easier this way, and then in real life, you realize, anyway, okay, but what I was thinking about today, and, like, I've thought about this before, um, but, and I, I asked specifically this question, because I wanted to know, I was already pretty sure, but I'm the only trans woman that is part of these speak outs that we do right now. Before I was around there was another trans woman and she was the only one doing the speak outs and it just reminded me about how I don't know how to put this but like how rare it is for trans women to be vocal and active in their in their communities. I mean obviously it, it happens like I'm not saying it doesn't happen but um, in my community, there are tons of trans men, and I love them. Like, they're great. They're awesome. Um, and, like, I know trans women, but they're much more behind the scenes. They're much more just trying to get through their lives. And I think it, first of all, I think it says a lot about society in general. And, like, I think it's because most trans women... It, it's already so tough for them just to be who they are that it's like, well, I can't, I don't want to expose myself anymore. I want to go through my transition and then I want to be left alone. Uh, I just want to be a woman, you know, like I want to be seen as a woman. I don't want to be anything else. And, you know, and that's like, that's totally fine. Like that's totally fine. And I totally understand. And really actually relate to that a whole lot and part part of the reason that I am involved at my school is purely because if I don't do it we're not represented I'm the only one doing it right now and you know I want to be 
Like, this is a thing I want to be doing. But I know that, you know, if, if, if there were five other trans women that were active and evolved, I, I do question, like, I wonder... I wonder if I would feel the pressure that I feel now to do it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I still would. Like, I wouldn't feel the pressure, but I'd still do it because I care about it. It's important. And, you know, I want to reach out and help people. I love having people contact me. I love, you know, I love helping people. And I love reaching out to people. And I like sharing my story. But it gets... I guess a little lonely. You know, like, obviously, I think there's other people up there with me, you know, fighting and and educating and being visible. But in my community, none of them are trans women. Except for me. And, like, it, I've got friends, and it's great, and, like, they're wonderful. But I wish there was someone else up there with me that had a more similar story that identified the way that I do so I can have someone that's kind of like you know people understand they get it but like they don't quite get it they don't hmm, I don't really know how to put it but you know all of our experiences are different and I mean in that same vein like I don't know what it's like to be a gay man I don't know what it's like to be a trans man I don't know what it's like to be a gender and so but they have there's other people around other people up there involved in the same things and the only time that I see other trans women is in these limited support groups and yeah it gets kind of lonely um I wish that I had someone else there with me that like was doing speak outs and was doing activist work that I could just talk to and and because the struggles are different when you're active and visible than when you're either stealth or you're transitioning but you're trying to keep it as low key as possible as opposed to me where like I'm like bam like I'm trans like hey everybody I'm trans um and you know talk to me and like that's how I want to be but I want there to be someone else there with me so I guess in a way this is I want to encourage other trans women to to be involved. Um, now there's a there's a caveat there. You know, I don't want to push anyone beyond their safety zone. I'll push you beyond your comfort zone, but not beyond your safety zone. And some people simply cannot or should not be visible or should not be out doing these things, like, if it's not something you're really okay with doing, if you're not okay with sharing, I really do understand, and you've got to look out for you first, but just think about it. Just think about if you could do it, and think about the people you could help, and, you know, look, look at the people in your community that are out there doing it already, and connect with them, and... I know it, a lot of people out there maybe who will see this it is very likely that you'll be in the same position as me. That you'll be the only trans woman that's active and visible in your community. Um, and that can be a tough role. It, it really can be. Um, and... I don't know, but it's it's worth it. And... You know, if you're not, if there's already someone doing it, don't just, like, let them up there. Don't just leave them alone doing it all themselves because it's hard. And, like, I'm not alone. <laughs> i got to emphasize that. Like, there are other people working with me, and they're great, and I'm in an awesome community. But it, it would be different if there were another person identified in a way more similar to the way that I do. So, you know, maybe you think that well, there's someone already doing it, so me me partaking won't make a difference, but it will. It'll definitely make a difference in that other person's life. And that difference is going to make a difference in the community. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that. And uh, that's all I'm going to talk about today.
but I hope you're having a wonderful life and that it gets better and everything good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, bye!